What is up guys, TK here, and um, this is a new tutorial. Um, I'm very sorry for um, not like being able to do more tutorials, but I've been quite busy these last weeks. Um, I've been working a lot on the dual Taj um, with me and Bolt Action, and I've also been in Sweden these last few days um, skiing. But now I'm back, so I'm going to try to do the tutorials that you requested, and this tutorial will be trying to make objects or text um, like text look um, realistic in your scenes from any game. And before we start the tutorial, I just want to point something out. Um, one week ago, or like more than a week ago, I made a Modern Warfare 3 info video about the new patch. And I literally just worked about two minutes on that. Like I recorded it, which took one minute, almost one minute, <laughs> and then I rendered it out. And this has gotten 16,000 views, okay? Now, this kind of <sighs> messes with my mind, okay? You see here, like, it has gotten so many views these last days. I think about 2,000 views per day. And um, <laughs> it's quite insane, because I worked two minutes on that. And let's just say, for example, the, <laughs> the montages or the movies that I've made. I've worked months with these stuff and they get at less than half the views Ugh, I just uh, I don't get it but <laughs> I'm happy that like that I'm getting all these views but I would really um, appreciate it more if people I don't know I got more views on my other videos that I work hard on instead of just like <laughs> with videos where I talk about something random uh, all right anyways sorry yeah <laughs> sorry about that I just wanted to get that out there for some reason okay so um Let's start the tutorial. So here I have my 3D track scene. Um, I I will not do a tutorial on how to 3D track, but if you request it, I might do one. Um, I say that I might do one because there are already so many on YouTube. So you know, if you want to learn how to motion track, you don't need me to do a tutorial since there are many out there already. But anyways, um, so this tutorial is going to be about making objects or text look realistic in your 3D scene from, for example, Monor for three. And um, I'm not an expert at all. Like I just do what I feel is right. So for any um, like I don't know professionals that are watching this, um, don't like blame me if I'm doing something that's technically wrong. But like it's it's just the way that I do it. So I'm just gonna share that with you. So first of all, I'm just gonna put in my 3D object, which is gonna be um, the <laughs> uh, there we go, the sparkles logo. I'm just gonna have to delete all these other stuff around here. Okay, so there we have our logo. Just gonna scale it up here. Ah uh, ha ha ha. Okay. Uh hold on here. Alright, there we go. Let's see. A bit bigger, maybe. There we go. Oh my god, something is weird with my um, recording program here. Uh, ha, ha. I can't even move it around. Uh, let's see. Nope, I can't move it around. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to stop recording um, for a second so I can move my object um, to where I want it to be. I'm um, sorry, but obviously this doesn't want to move when I try to do it yeah okay so uh, I'm just gonna stop recording and then I'll be back when I have put the logo where I want it to be alright so I figured out what my problem was um, for some reason like if I um, if I choose the setting hide cursor like hide the mouse cursor in the recording program then everything works fine so, so there's something wrong with my Camtasia but Anyways, um, you won't be able to see the mouse cursor, but I'll explain everything I'm doing, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to uh, keep up. So, um, all right, now I've placed um, the uh, logo where I want it to be. Now the next thing is to make a floor because we need some shadows um, in the scene to make it look realistic, so it fits. So let's go ahead and make a floor like that. And um, I'm gonna have to drag it down a bit because um, the logo kind of goes under 
the floor as you see um, here it goes with the grid but that doesn't really matter so just move the floor down okay and um, if you're doing the same thing that I'm doing here like with a 3d track scene and everything then um, what you're gonna do to like make the floor look as it's inside the scene because you see now it's like it's covering the whole I mean it's covering half of the screen um, so see um, the material that you have as your background basically this AVI file which is um, your video or whatever like the 3D interactive video you can drag that material onto the floor and then click on the floor um, material like click on the material to the right of it and set the projection to frontal okay now that's just the beginning um, if you render out now you'll still see like it's covering half of the screen so uh, sorry um, right click on the floor and uh, <coughs> go to Cinema 4D Tags and Compositing and after you've done that this menu should open up down to the right then click um, Compositing Background and then unclick Self Shadowing alright so it should look like this and now if you render out you'll see it like it's like the floor wasn't even there um, you'll get these weird edges on the sides of the video but this will not be rendered out so don't worry about that okay and um, to get some shadows you need a light so um, go ahead and create a light and you're going to want to drag this light up um, depending on the shadows in the scene um, like sometimes the, the sh there aren't any shadows in the scene but here we have some shadows you can see um, let's see here the brick down at the right it has a shadow and the shadow is on the right which means that the, um, the light is coming from the left so then we're going to have to drag our light uh, let's see here over there approximately all right and now let's see if it works um light and then select soft shadow and then render it out so you see that the shadow kind of has the right direction but this the shadow is of course extremely uh <laughs> ugly <laughs> because you haven't uh, modified it yet because you have to modify it to make it look good so um i think the angle is a bit wrong still so i'm just going to move around more on the light just to get the right angle of it uh, a bit more, I think. Alright, so now I have the same angle approximately. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the shadow settings on my light here. And I'm going to want to make it look as like the same as the shadow of this brick on the right. So, first thing I'm going to set the color to um, about that gray color that it is there. <laughs> Alright, see it's it's still a bit too dark, so let's set the density down a bit more. And um let's see. Alright, there you see that we have almost the exactly same um looking shadows from the logo that we put in and the brick on the right. So that makes it that like that makes a huge difference whether it looks uh, realistic or not. Okay, so next thing is the lighting. So I'm gonna want to just put a light in front of the logo so you can like so it's bright. And I'm also going to put some materials on it. Um, let's see, I'm just going to try out some materials here. Because I'm going for a very, very basic uh, style. So I'm just going to do this now, like just a pure um, grey material. Like that. And that's basically it. I'm just making the lighting um, look alright. And then matching the shadows in the rest of the scene. Now these are the most important stuff. Because I've seen so many people um mess up the shadows so like you can easily see that um it's made in some 3D program uh well <laughs> yeah you understand like it looks so unrealistic so remember to make the shadows fit the rest of the scene and also the cc like the color correction is also uh it, al it also ma matters a lot but that's like out of um well that's in Sony Vegas or After Effects so you don't have to worry about that like this is just 3D editing part so um, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you and um, just request more tutorials if um, you want me to do some and uh, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.